So these are five basic static properties that need to be imputed and selected in our case. Okay, in order for the simulation to, to be able to run. Okay, and then aquifers. If you have aquifer that will be involved in your case, then you need to insert the aquifer. But we haven't created any aquifer in our model, so we will skip it. Fluids. Of course, we have fluids. And as you can see here, we have several things to input. First one is relative permeability. I have my relative permeability data, which is this one, relative permeability one. And I will input this available relative permeability to the table. So how do I do that? I click this one. I click this one, automatic mapping. OK, so the available relative permeability will be stored in this table. OK. And then I will do that also for PVT. Click this one, click this one, click this one, auto mapping. Initial condition, equilibration data specification also. Click, click this one, click this one, automatic mapping. Lastly, raw compressibility. Click this one, click this one, automatic mapping. Faults. Again, just like aquifers, if you have faults, you need to select and you need to insert the faults here. But we don't involve any fault in our model. You can check again. You see, we don't have fault here. So in cases, we can skip the fault. And then selective writing of results. I prefer just following the default. This is just writing of results. Either you want to write it this way or that way. If you want to make the results in days or in months or in years, you can set it here. But we will skip it. We will follow the default. OK, and then schedule. This is very important. Here we have one already, the development strategy. Okay development strategy that we have created in Wells data section. Okay, this one, development strategy. Okay, so case, this one. All right. Okay, actually we are almost ready to run the history matching, but maybe here we can go to Wells data again, go to strategies. You can click here, verify rules. And you can check the messages, warnings and errors open. Yeah, you can see a lot of warnings there. And as you can see, if we read, warning, cannot find gas rate data for well 13 at date, this date in table. So actually we don't have gas rate data. So that's the warning, but it's okay. We will run without gas rate data. All right, I will close the messages and the warnings, go back to geometry objects. Okay, at this point, we can click this button, initialize dynamic model. So let's click and you must save project before continuing. Save project, okay. Select result name, result path. I can create new, or I can also replace existing dynamic model, the available case. I will select this one, click okay. All right, and here, the model is in initialization, all right? Okay, so the initialization is in progress, but I think, yeah, here the, Initialization is paused. We can check the warnings. Okay, you can see we have several problems here, including oil viscosity. Okay, oil viscosity. We need to modify it, I think. All right, please consider increasing minimum power volume value. And this one, 
keyword oil viscosity can be used only with thermal. So we can check the run spec, check the fluid viscosity. Let's check the grid, no schedule, options, other, ASP no, oil viscosity. We need to find this one, oil fisk. I think there is no problem here. Also, it is okay. No problem. Fluids. No problem. If we continue the initialization. Okay. Let's check, still the same problem. Okay, or maybe we need to correct the PVT, oil viscosity. There is no problem here. Okay, let's, let's analyze this first and we can also check the messages. Here, the messages, we can check. Warning, enable convert keyword. Yeah, this, this problem sometimes happen. Okay, so yeah, we you need to be familiar with this kind of problem. You need to be patient and you need to modify a little bit or maybe you can contact the T-Navigator team to help you to solve this kind of problem. But let me solve this for a while. So, all right. Okay, so... If you go to the message and read again, keyword oil fist can only can be only used with thermal or E1 temperature options. I think the problem is here. Oil viscosity versus temperature, it is not necessary because in our model, it's not a thermal model. So we will assume isothermal condition constant temperature, so no use for oil viscosity versus temperature. So let's check whether we can change this condition. 